Hey guys, so this video is going to be a tutorial on how to do extreme highlight and contouring. Um, it is extreme because it's going to be out of cream concealers instead of powders. So if you guys want to see a full tutorial and all the products I use for doing extreme contour and highlight, then keep on watching. Okay, so when you want to do a highlight contour look with uh, creams or with liquids, you could start with a fresh face, so absolutely no foundation, no concealer, no nothing. But then you're going to be relying completely on the concealers or whatever it is that you choose to use for any coverage that you want. So I like to use just a soft foundation um, as my base. And right now I already put it on. I use the MAC Face and Body Foundation and my color is C2. So what I like to use that works well with dry skin is something more liquidy that blends a little bit easier and kind of works around those finer lines or drier skin areas. Um, my favorites, I'm going to try two different ones today. So on one side I'm going to use this Light Bright. This is by Hard Candy. This stuff is only six bucks. And I'm going to use shade medium, which is super, super light. So this stuff is made for brightening. And then on the other side of my face, I'm going to try a MAC Select Cover Up. This is NC20. Normally I use NW20, but NC is brighter and it is more yellow. So it's going to help to give it that brightening look. For my contour, I am going to use a Maybelline Fit Concealer. I got a uh, shade 30, which is Cafe. Um, I do like this color, it's a little bit too warm for me, so it, it's kind of more like orangey than I would like. I would like something a little bit more neutral. So you can buy these at Ulta if you're just kind of starting out and you just want to play with it. I definitely recommend these because I think they're only $6. I'm going to try on one side I will use the MAC NC20 and then the other side I will use the Light Bright and we'll see which one's better. So now let's go ahead and get started and first what I'm going to do, I already told you I have foundation on my face. Um, and then if you're using something like this, you could put the stick directly on your face and just start brushing it on. Um, for this particular color, the contour color, I am not going to apply it directly to my face because it would give me way too much product because this color is way too dark. So you want to be kind of careful with that. And what I like to use is just a glass coaster. I think this is a candle holder like from Target that I used for all my foundation and blending stuff. I don't ever put anything on my hand. So here is the Light Bright in Medium. So now I'm going to use a flat synthetic brush like this right here. This is what I use for my concealer all the time. This is from Crown Brush, double-sided, but I only use this side. If you do this line straight out, you're not doing yourself a favor at all. So you're gonna wanna lift and brighten. That's the whole key here. Right there in the Cupid's bow, just to help the lips look more, you know? And then we're gonna bring it down the center of our nose. Right there. And then in between our eyes. All right, so I did the hard candy on one side of my face. And just like I promised, I'm gonna put the NC20, this MAC one, on the other side, just so if we can see a difference. So I'm gonna apply it the same way, and you can see it's a little bit more yellow than the hard candy one. Now um, I have the MAC on one side, Hard Candy on the other side, and I'm taking the uh, Maybelline Fit Concealer and I'm going to apply some of it to my glass because I don't need a lot. You kind of want to line your forehead. Adding the contour uh, to your nose can just help to make it look a little bit narrower if you do have a wider nose. I have a kind of crooked nose, so I like to make it look a little bit straighter. Okay. 
You can also do it like right here. It's supposed to get rid of your double chin. I don't know if it will. There are two, well there's a few different ways that you can blend it all together. Obviously you can use a brush. Um, I like to use this brush right here. This is a MAC 130 brush. I like to blend out my contour with the Beauty Blender and then blend my highlight with this one. But what I like to do is I like to start blending with the highlight first. And I start up in the eye area. And I'm going to keep it in a straight line when I'm blending. Up and down. I'll use a beauty blender for this one just that way you guys can see how I do it. So this is a beauty blender from Sephora. I think these are $20. They're worth it. Um, I like it but I don't use it all the time. I prefer to use this brush right here. I just feel like I have more control with it. Um, so it is damp. I ran it underwater. You can see how huge it is right now. So you can start anywhere. I'm gonna go ahead and start on my forehead because it looks the craziest right now. But what I'm gonna do is just buff like that. I'm like using small strokes and kind of lifting it off my face. But you can see how like I'm kind of being firm I guess. But I do buff it into my hairline because I don't want like a super dark like streak by my face that looks stupid I get the bulk amount of it buffed out right there and then I go in with the fat side and just kind of pounce and then with the nose I am pulling it downward you can't really tell on camera but I'm kind of going putting it against the skin and pulling it down um, and now I'm going to come in with the pointy side and push it upward Okay, so we have finished our highlighting and contouring with cream, and now what we need to do is set our look. So there are a couple different ways you can do it. The first way, um, the easier way out, if you love the way it looks and you don't feel like you need to add any more depth or whatever, I would use a sheer finishing powder. This is like a Makeup Forever HD uh, high definition powder. This is a really good finishing powder. There's no color in it, it's crystal clear. Like I said, I don't stop there. I keep it going. Mm-hmm. So, if you're super fair like I am, I like to use this powder from Ben Nye. This is a luxury powder and the color is Cameo. Of course, if you want to look like Kim Kardashian, who doesn't, right? Just so you know, banana powder will not make you look like Kim Kardashian. If you're my color, it's going to make you look jaundiced, so don't do that. Get it a ton on my brush like that, and then I just start packing it under my eye and anywhere that the highlight is at. So I do bring it all the way across. So now what I'm gonna do is set the rest of my face.
Okay, so just looking at the finish right now between the Hard Candy and the MAC, um, I do think the Hard Candy has a really nice finish. They are pretty close to each other. The MAC one does have a little bit more coverage, so of course I'm going to go with that one. So for my blush I'm going to use today, this is Inglot, and this is shade number 28 in their blush. So then I'm going to put my blush in between my highlight and contour and it'll just help to blend it all together. Of course there are more steps that you could use. So let me show you if you are like going out or you're like me and you just want to look super fabulous all the time. Um, the next thing I would do for under my eyes if I'm trying to highlight is a powder and this is just going to help to brighten it a little bit more because we're doing extreme. I'm gonna use this shade right here, and this is called Emphasize, oh, and I got it on my brush like that. So now, I'm not necessarily gonna focus it down here, I'm gonna do it more right in this area. This is a MAC skin finish, this is the most popular skin finish I think they have, and I'm gonna kinda put it right here. Okay, so now I kind of look like I'm glossy almost. Like I said, you can stop just with the highlighting contouring, but I never like to stop, so I keep going. All right, so that kind of wraps up my video on how to do a full contour and highlight with my liquid concealers, and then also setting it with different types of powders. I do plan on doing a tutorial on how to do contour and highlight with just powders. So if you guys want to see it, make sure you subscribe. Hopefully I'll post it within the next week. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. So now what I'm going to do is just... No. Um... Emphasize. Shit.